Hey everybody, Arnaldo Offerman, four schools only, gear at first, and a lot of you may remember me from the Master School Dances series. So about two months ago, Mobile Beat announced that I'm gonna be doing a seminar on the main stage about school dances. Now, if you've followed me for a bit, then you know that that's really where I got my start in the mobile uh, DJ speaking circuit, was doing these seminars on how to market and sell school dances. Now, I really couldn't be too uh, braggadocio on the Mobile Beat video, but let me be real with you for a minute. Uh, Four Schools only started around around 2007-ish, uh, but I started working with this company, Apron Entertainment, in 05 on the way to John Young's seminar for the Disc Jockey News and Northern DJ Convention. There were a couple great seminar speakers, uh, Michael Port and Brian Dodge, who will happen to be at Mobile Beat this year, so I'm so stoked about, you know, they, they said some things that really kind of woke up something inside me, right? Like, like ooh, I'm going to, this is different than what I've heard all the other shows people talk about. There was also Brian Flanagan, and while I'm not a big Zig Ziglar fan, Flanagan had a lot of great nuggets in his seminar. Anyways, on the way back from the plane, uh, I'm thinking like you know we, we do a couple of schools nothing major but I really think we can make more money with this you know I was in you know involved with my school's planning stuff so I know where the money is going and where it's not going rather and um, I got that I started making a mock website and I just called it project for schools only the name pretty much stuck as it's a catchy name anyways let's fast forward to about 2008 when you know the recession had really hit most of America at that point and you know, corporate parties, if you guys remember, pretty much took a, a dump and schools were spending the least amount of money possible. And, you know, we were not really as big of a multi-op as we had now. I think we had like maybe uh, three systems going out. Not even, actually. I think I was doing every single homecoming, come to think of it, and prom. I don't even think we had multiple. I mean, we had wedding DJs, but I don't think we really had school DJs. Um, not that I can recall that early. But other than Kelly, so we had maybe up to two systems going out at a time. And I was like, man, I would just be happy to, you know, see $40,000 per season. Yeah, you know, and, and we hit that. I was so proud of myself because it took a lot of work to get to that. You know, and I applied a lot of what you see in here in the Master School Dances series, and I know it works. And, you know, I was doing this stuff for a while before I even started doing videos. So when it takes me a while to put out a new video or a seminar, because I want to make sure there's years of research behind this, so I'm not just talking out my ass. So we, uh, you know, everything's going well. Uh, and then I just started going up and up and up and I started trying new things and you know long story short you know 10 years later uh, each season just homecomings and proms not including sweet 16s bar bot mitzvahs other school dances rentals you know and that's just on the school side of the company or the teen side of the company rather uh, you know we're seeing 200,000 each season over for a homecoming and prom now, I'm not going to lie, it's not the easiest thing, and it's not all pure profit either. Obviously, I have to pay my staff. Uh, they want to rightfully get paid more, but then I also have workman's comp. We've got major liability insurance. Our advertising costs, luckily, aren't as big as other companies, not in that sense, uh, because a lot of it is word to mouth, but we do advertise quite a bit. We also give away a few events for charity, uh, you know, for our schools that are raising money for charity, or we rent them out gear for next to nothing and so forth. So we do have quite a few costs to come in, plus the massive amounts of gear that we're buying, you know, for the long-term expansion, you know. Uh, the last couple of years, we spent easily, 20, I would say maybe forty to $80,000 each year in new gear, uh, not including repairs, right? Uh, but it's worth it because in the 10 years, that gear is going to make us money, which is why I'm very particular about what gear I actually buy because it's got to last me a long time. So now that's not saying I haven't made horrible purchases. We've made horrible purchases. Uh, but here's the thing, even if you're not a multi-op, you can do great with school dances. Are you gonna make 200 grand a year or a season? Hell no. Uh, not unless you know you're you're doing 20 homecomings by yourself, you know, and charging 10,000 each one or whatnot. It can be done. It's just mm, let me know how that goes. But you you can make money. You can make this a a full-time job if you chose to do so. 
And you can do this most importantly without ripping off schools. It's the one thing I really want to push that in my seminars, I don't believe in ripping off schools. I don't believe in lying to them. I'm going to talk a lot about what SGA is, you know, the Student Government Association and how hard these students work. Oh my goodness, it's like they're sitting there and take 45 minutes to make a right-hand turn. Jesus, sorry. Anyways, um... You know, these students work hard to not just raise money for these dances, of course, but a lot of times these dances can be fundraisers for other things. So we take that into account, but at the same time, it does take money to make money. And I got feedback from one of my advisors because they were just at a district meeting and they said that all the advisors got together and talked. And the schools that are using us and actually spending money with their homecomings are the ones that are making the most money. And that's something I'm going to talk about my summer, about how you can do that. Because, you know, just adding pipe and drape isn't going to make you or the school money. There's got to be a method behind it. So I'm going to try to cram all that in about 30, 45 minutes or so. Uh, however long Mobeat's going to let me keep going. And I'm going to be honest with you, there's a very good chance that if nobody's speaking after me, I'm probably going to go over time. I'm, I'm just letting you know, it always happens. Ryan and Jake hate me for it, but, you know, it's... Uh, but that being said, it can be done. And listen, if you're thinking, oh, well, you know, my area, schools don't pay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't want to hear that crap because that's all it is. It's crap. It's excuses. And I'll be very frank with you. It's probably because you're a sucky business person. No, no, no. I do very good at weddings. That's great. You may do great at selling weddings, but if you're telling me that schools don't have money, you do a bad job selling at schools or you just don't have anything that they find money investing in. Look, these students are not stupid. If anything, these students are smarter than brides and grooms because... They're talking to multiple people because they're, you know, they have a grade that depends on it. You know, they have to sit there and research and, you know, they're, <sighs> there's a large group versus just the bride and groom that are all, you know, in love and excited about their wedding and all that. You know, these students are, they're going to grill you for it. So they're going to do a lot of research. And if you're not bringing in something that, you know, is going to wow them, no, they're not going to spend the money on you. So the seminar is really going to talk about how to get that wow factor to get them to spend money on you. Now, going back to that whole, uh, schools don't spend more than a couple hundred dollars here. Dude, I used to hear that before four schools only was a thing. As a matter of fact, I still hear that nowadays. There's a city where DJ kept telling me, oh, you would never make it in this city. So I went over that city and I took three clients there. And this has happened multiple times. Some of you may be like, oh, I've heard this story before. Yes. And it seems to happen every year that I come into a new city and, oh, look at that. I'm taking somebody else's client because they were only providing, you know, two speakers and a strobe light and no mixing, no interaction, um, no help in marketing. And we come in with, you know, 20 times this price tag, but obviously, you know, 10 times the gear or whatever. And suddenly it's like, oh, okay, well, uh, I, I, there is money. So yes, there is money in school dances, but the fundraising has to be there. And that's something you're going to have to help with. So that's essentially what my video series is going to talk about. Now, let's talk about master school dances. I'm not going to mention that in a seminar at all, except maybe, hey, you should check out my series. Please do. You know, it's a, we don't really get paid to do these seminars. Um, so it's in there for the hopes that you look at the master school dances. But my seminar is not going to be a, oh, if you want to get this information, you have to go to master school dances. Now, I'm not going to lie. The master school dances series has about 12 hours of information in it. Yeah, I've got a 30, 45 minute seminar. Yeah, there's some stuff that is not going to be covered in that seminar. But the most important part is that there's a lot of stuff in that seminar that is not covered in the master school dances series yet because I believe in fresh content and this is gonna be a lot of new stuff that has not been covered in any of my videos obviously some of it I have covered before but it's gonna be updated to reflect today's not just marketplace but it's also gonna talk about the new trends and everything else it's also gonna talk about things that you shouldn't be doing so I'm gonna to try to cram a lot now here's what I recommend when you go to my seminar Bring a tape recorder uh, because I am going to talk really fast, probably a little bit faster than this, and I don't want you to get lost. Luckily, I'm not going to lie, I have good diction despite, you know, having an accent, or at least I try to hide my accent. But the reason I'm going to talk fast is because I need to cram a lot of information in there. So drink some coffee before you uh, get there or, you know, whatever it takes to wake you up because uh, I'm going to talk fast. And I want to get as much information there as possible. And you're going to want to have that tape recorder so you can actually play it back in slow motion and get a chance to hear everything that I said. So hopefully that'll help. And I'm going to try to also upload that. Maybe depends on what mobile people let me do. I'll try to upload that on YouTube. Then maybe do a question and answer for those people that were at Mobile Beat. So after you leave my seminar, I will give you a private web page. We will live stream the seminar there again and we'll do a Q&A live and everything. So uh, that 
that way, if you didn't get a chance to talk to me after. Now, next important thing is, I will not be working with ADJ, and to my knowledge, I am not working with any vendor whatsoever. Uh, it's a personal choice. I actually want to enjoy Mobi this time. I want to be able to go to the seminars. I was really upset that I couldn't go to a couple seminars last uh, year. So I'm like, you know what? I'm on my own there. So that means that if you want to talk to me afterwards, hang out or whatever, listen, I've got all the time in the world. It'll be myself and my wife. And my wife's also a very important part of four schools only. So if you want to bring your wife with you and have your wife talk to my wife and they can talk about how important it is to have spousal support in this business, by all means. So anyhow, guys, uh, Mobi beat it's gonna be a great show uh i really wish i could tell you what time and where because i really have no idea so once i know i'll probably post it in the information down below but uh yeah guys thank you all so much for watching any questions comments concerns etc you guys know what to do leave a comment down below hit the bell hit the subscribe button ding 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 and most important hit that thumbs up have a great evening and god bless